Happy birthday. I'm sure it's what? someone's birthday. By, but by the rate we, we upload these after we record them, this is probably going up on my birthday, so thank you. <laughs> if it's your birthday, tell us in the comments. <laughs> so we can ignore you. <laughs> it's a desperate plea for uh, interaction. <laughs> thank you, Kedigris. If it's, if it's your birthday, dislike the video. <laughs> <laughs> So we know exactly <laughs> if who, how many people's birthday is. If it's your birthday, dislike and unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, Gareth, you're implying that people are subscribed. I know, right? By the time this comes out, it won't be. If this is your birthday, tweet at McConnell's fan. Bart milk. milk. <laughs> <laughs> we put that... This is, this is going to date the video by like fucking months. But me and TJ said that on the most recent episode of the Patreon-only podcast, Turkey Does a Yes Friend, and not one person did it. Further proving that no one actually listens to the podcast we make for that. I've never been more fan proud of our fan base that doesn't exist. <laughs> but yeah, everyone, everyone just tweet, uh, at McConnell's fan, Bart Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Or if you if you want to be my friend, don't. <laughs> if you want to be Miwa's lover, you gotta get with her friends. You have to get with her bar milk. Bar milk. I just thought of something, Bob Barker. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the Price is Right man, right? Yep. Yeah, wasn't he a big advocate for, like, a new to your pets? Yeah, he'd end I every no broadcast with spade and new to your pets. Oh, okay. you're talking, you're I talking know family. That. Yeah. Well, there's, the, there's a... Well, what, I, the reason why I bring that up is Barker. In Japanese, you just pronounce it as Baka, right? <laughs> is, is his last name Idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Bob Parker. And don't, don't, don't Robert idiot. Please <laughs> <Robert, laughs> spay and neuter your gamers. Please, please do. Please make we sure that do. you spay and neuter all your gamers. <laughs> the last thing we need is more gamer pups. Well, no, see, you, you don't you don't have to neuter the gamers because gamers don't get laid. Yeah, you have to you have to neuter the uh, just the normal people so no more gamers ever get made. Well, Gareth, I'm a mudblood. Neither of my parents were gamers, and yet it still <laughs> happened. <laughs> That's why we have to fund our time machine to go back in time and neuter Steven's parents. We gotta we gotta end this bloodline once and for all. All we gotta do is figure out how to send a, uh, a cryptic uh, beeper message to one of his parents. Cryptic <laughs> beeper message. <laughs> From Bob Pataki's beeper. Big, Bo <laughs> Big Bob's beepers. That's very dangerous, bread boy. I always, I always feel bad that we never actually got the uh, Pataki spin-off show. Pataki's, yes! Well, it was it, it was deemed too dark, so... You know. See, see, I knew that if I brought up a cartoon, eventually one of you guys would catch on and a conversation would start. Yes! <laughs> well, see, it's weird because if, if Hey Arnold was a, was say, aired on, on Cartoon Network, then I guarantee you we would have gotten the Patakis on Adult Swim, and it would have just been wacky as shit for 11 minutes. I mean, like, they touched on something really dark with Helga, in my opinion, just, like, the oh, whole yeah. complex she has, that, like, her parents legitimately don't care about her happiness and just having to grow up with us, like... Fuck! Like that's the f and then, and then just like her par her mother's alcoholism, and then oh, who yeah. knows what the fuck her dad's. It like just they touch on this stuff ever so slightly. And hey, Arnold, so I was like, man, if they wanted to like actually like dig their fingers deep, and they could pull some like really <laughs> raunchy comedy, honestly. They, well, again, it could have been very depressing for uh, That's for why. That's why it, it wasn't I, made. Because I, I, it, it, it was deemed too adult and too depressing to air on Nickelodeon. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I just don't want to like do this as a broad comparison. I'm trying to do this comparison as very specifically as I can. But just a, a family dynamic that does involve like some sort of mental illness going on there. Like That's, that's very un-Rick and Morty. Like... 
it, it, I feel it could have had like a dynamic similar to what's. I mean, obviously without multi-dimensional things going on. Well, what, what was that you were gonna say, Miwa? I was just gonna say, now, now is is the part where you don't hear from me from the rest of the day. <laughs> 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 Miwa did so. This is actually. At some point, we may get back to Windmaker, but in were, were like the Nicktoons, were they like um, localized for Japan? Were they dubbed for Japanese markets? Like, did you grow up with like, like Rugrats or Hey Arnold or you know like Dog and stuff like, like that? I have, I have no idea what it. Did you watch uh, SpongeBob? No. What, what were the, what were the cartoons you watched as a kid? Legend of the Overfade. Flintstones. I watched Sad Moon. You fucking weep. Well, I guess I guess you should. No, I'm so sorry, but so what? You grew up with Sailor Moon. Did you guys like? Was is the Pokemon anime as big in Japan as it is it like was in America when it first premiered? I don't know how big it was in America. Pretty fucking big, you know. Like a lot of people, that was their first. That, that was their introduction to anime. I don't. I don't know. Okay, Stefan was Pokemon really big in Japan when it first came out. It it was okay. I mean, it did okay. all right. It made it, it, okay. sold, it sold at least three copies. <laughs> it not subtle or nuanced. <laughs> <laughs> I think N Nintendo. I think it's how many copies though. of Pokemon Red and Green did you sell? I don't know. Like three, <laughs> twenty, more. I think it's bullshit though that that the Japanese market edited the jelly donut and called it a rice ball. And that's that's just culturally insensitive to Americans. Most most Americans have never seen rice. <laughs> Americans have no culture. <laughs> How dare you say that? I, I have emotions that one time. Well, no, you've never had emotions, Stephen. When? I, I'm trying to remember. I know that it happened. Oh my God. The closest, the cl oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Mio. The closest thing America has to culture is pickle Rick. Let that fucking chicken. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that, that's that's the one time Stephen cried seeing pickle Rick for the first. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! You got, you got some you got some good fucking strats, go. I'm good. <laughs> I like to imagine that Link just soft, softly kicked that rat over the edge. I just like to think that his dancing confused the rat into suicide. <laughs> <laughs> you confused the rat into, into committing ritual shaduku. Ah, so what you're saying is that Link subclass as a bard. Or no, a dancer. Link's a sub? <laughs> In, in my fanfiction, he is. <laughs> and next he wants fanfiction where Link's just a sandwich from Subway. <laughs> the oh, legend, oh, the oh, legend of no, 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 it's he actually. What we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Steven, don't, don't let him know. Yes, Garrett, like, and then Link oh, makes yeah, the sandwich with extra guacamole. It's, it's great. Shh, don't let him know, Steven. It's, it's What's just guacamole? For the best. I'm English. We, we don't we don't have flavor or it's, spice enough. Food it's with guacamole. it's it's sauce. You put it in the sandwich, and it actually makes it have more flavor. Like I know See, those revolutionary are, those shit. <laughs> Be what you fucking. Maxi, you never been to England. That kind of stuff's outlawed. Like we're not allowed any type of flavoring for our food. Gareth, what is brown sauce? What does that mean? I don't fucking know. It might. I think, I honest to god think it might just be a kind of dumbed down, flavorless version of barbecue sauce maybe, but I always thought brown sauce tasted like actual shit, 
so I've never had it much, but it's just like, it is weird how there is this sauce that is literally just called, like, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, it, Stephen is not you using a euphemism, it is literally marketed as HP's brown sauce, and fuck knows what is in that shit. It's, it's just a coloring, it's like buying food dye drops for your cupcakes, just brown sauce to make food brown. <laughs> it's chocolate sauce. Let's put it on steak. Yum. I just know you guys are big into gravy, so I just thought it was like gravy that comes in a squeezable bottle or something. But it's different. I'll, I'll yeah, though it's not. It's, it's you Americans have two kinds of gravy, which is confusing to us poor, simple-minded English people. We have one type of gravy and it tastes terrible. <laughs> oh really? Well, so see, now thanks thanks to my mother-in-law, whenever someone says gravy, I just think of like biscuits and gravy. Hell yeah. Because that shit is like. Mm, Fuck yeah. So fucking good, bro. Right here. Maxie, what's what's your breakfast item of choice? Breakfast burrito. <laughs> it would be. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Anything phallic shaped, Maxie, what's for breakfast? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the joke. That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, what do you have? Nothing, because Canada's poor. <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm saying. Are you, <laughs> our, do our dollar is pretty shit. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. Soon, British people aren't even gonna be able to get breakfast for a while. Thanks to Brex Fix. <laughs> Brex Fix. <laughs> That's what they need. They need a Brex Fix. What do, what do I, the joke wasn't funny. I, it's just your struggle. That was the best. What, what, what do I even try any? I'm not even trying anymore. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, I thought. I think for the first LP I ever did, I put effort in, but I've been doing this shit for 11 years. I'm. I'm 30, my life's practically over, I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> it is weird how 30 is the new midlife crisis. Well, so that's because, flex <laughs> to, like, you know, the global warming and everything, that probably won't make it to 60, so yeah, it just probably is a like, midlife crisis. Oh, well. Exactly. What, what, what's the, what's the uh, lifespan of Lynx? It doesn't seem that links last that long. Well, see, the only one we know who canonly dies is is Ocarina of Time, and he's 17. So if we take that as, as the medium average, uh, 26. Wait, well, no, hold on, because one of one of those timeline Ocarina links gets to be an adult and die of old age and becomes a Stalfos, but one of them does fail to be Ganon. So I mean, there's got to be a few of those timelines where he like flat out just dies. One of yeah, them turns into Gramps in A Link Between Worlds. Ooh, which which, so is, I which is the one that's yeah, which is the one in Twilight Princess that becomes a Stalfos? That's uh, Ocarina of Time into Majora's Mask Link. Right. So, Mexi, I, I forget, in, in, in the official wording when it says Link loses, that does that also mean he dies or just he loses the battle and then just hides in a cave for 60 years? Yeah, <laughs> Not as, yeah you're right. No, it's the, that's the weird thing about the Link loses is just Link just cannot be the one to beat Ganon because a Link to the Past plot involves like the knights and the sages being the one who lock Ganon away. So Link doesn't necessarily have to die. He just he can't be the one to beat that Ganon because that Ganon has to be sealed off by someone else completely. So it's just that weird fucking thing about a Link to the Past where I will defend the the triple like timeline shenanigans of Nintendo. It's like yeah, it. It's kind of the... It's Occam's Razor. It's the only way to explain A Link to the Past. It kind of is. Well, yeah, but I mean, like... I mean, like, um... A Link... The, the re-release of A Link to the Past kind of reworded the intro to fit in more with Ocarina of Time. I wouldn't put it past Nintendo just to rework... Just to once again rework, um... Link to the Past just to make sense in a timeline where Link does it, where Link always wins. Yeah. I, well, I mean, because, because 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 as we've established, Nintendo don't really give a fuck about this timeline. Oh, that's they what they say. That's what they say. But again, then why do all the references? Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Mixies. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like I said, the second game in the series was a direct sequel, and then when Ocarina of Time came out, they were trying to make, say, that it was the beginning of the timeline, like, they, they keep trying to have it both ways, where they're like, they're, oh, we don't believe in timeline, but here's all this promotional things where we're gonna talk about a timeline and where this could possibly be in a timeline, and we'll have official 
books. Like, you can't release hardcover books, including timelines, and say you don't care about the timeline. Like, that's that's sort of my thing. Well, like, what are you popular demand? <laughs> yeah. well, no, actually, I forget, it doesn't... Doesn't Link to the Past take place before Zelda 1 and 2? It does, yeah. Uh, cause... So even, 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 even by Game 3 they were fucking around with the, uh, the canon. Well, they were. They were trying to say that A Link to the Past was the beginning of the timeline, and then Ocarina of Time came out, it's the beginning of the timeline, because, well, Link's Awakening was intermediately, like, a tied sequel to... A link to the past, like the promotional material is things that he's the hero from A Link to the Past. That's why you have the reference to like the Ganon fight to Link to the Past, um, and now of course that game's getting remade. And then, but the Oracle games take place before they take place in between Link to the Past. That's and that's the huge like big <clears throat> twist that they've Fuck thrown you, in. Is where the hell do the Oracle games now go? Like you either either A Link to the Past Link dies in the ocean or you know he gets to have a nice adventure through the oracle games into link's awakening like you have official material that has two different timelines there like you know what it's up to you you choose really it doesn't matter because after that point you jump far into the future into zelda one like there you go it kind of doesn't really matter on this on the love that on the timeline the uh, so like the section of zelda one and zelda two is titled the tragedy of princess zelda the first <laughs> well, yeah, we, they do we, that. Yeah, but we, because, because Zelda 2 explains what the actual legend of Zelda is, mm -hmm. which is the fact that it takes place so so into the timeline is kind of crazy to me, because that's the only game that explains what the fucking legend is. Yeah. Uh, I think someone said it was like, Zelda 2 is one of the most expansive games to, like, the Zelda lore and, like, the whole series. Like, honestly, yeah. Like, they tried to pin a lot of things down with that game, and then just... The, the adding well, so of the NPC so towns. It's, it's yeah, weird because, like, 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 I, am like error. I am error. Also, because it's weird because, like, Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is actually the only game where having a Link loses timeline divergence would make sense because the game over screen literally says game over the return of Ganon. Yeah. So, like, that is the fucking one game where it would make sense to have a Link loses. It's established Ganon returns at this point move on from there. The the divergence in Wind Waker in sorry in Ocarina of Time still just feels like Nintendo were like, um fucking I don't know, maybe he dies in this well, game. Yeah well Because we're deep into this conversation, you could say that in Ocarina of Time, every single time that Link goes to the future, he's actually creating a new timeline and when he goes back then he leaves it and so now that timeline no longer has a link and now they're fucked. Yeah. So you could just say that. I I always assume And that's how you could say that's how he loses the multiverse theory, I like I, it. And I always assumed that they went with Ocarina of Time being the one because it's Ganon's origin. Like, that's where Ganondorf kind of becomes Ganon. And then, because you look at any other Zelda game that refers to Ganon, like, there's hard evidence that he's already been, like, fought or sealed. He's not, it's not his first, like, appearance as Ganon. Ocarina of Time, Ganon is kind of, like, that's his first. So it kind of makes sense to make that be the one that like if you're gonna do a point where a link has to lose again it might as well have it be the first because any that's any that's villain before, before that um, is is this demise or vati so yeah does, does, does demise ever take like a, a hog form when you fight him uh he just has his like akuma sword form okay <laughs> yeah, isn't isn't the whole thing in skyward sword supposed to be like yeah like the, that big the big fake ganon in that game is supposed to be like the person that ends up reincarnating into ganon yes yeah and I'm, like i'm not too sure too but isn't are like vati and like onyx and Vera, basically so. all the like bad guys have this like essence of ganon to them now because of skyward sword's plot that sounds a little like, like the shitless fragrance. Oh, <laughs> As, essence I, again. I think, it smells like bacon. <laughs> I, I, Ew. Uh, is, <laughs> is the Link Between Worlds Link, that, that's the same Link from Link to the Past, right? Uh, Sorry, one more time? The Link from Link Between Worlds is the same from Link to the Past, right? No. It's uh, a... Okay. Because a Link Between Worlds... Um, a Link to the Past is already this a legend a in A Link Between Worlds, so there's already yeah. a huge time gap. Right, is... The one from Link's Awakening and Oracle games, is that the same one, or are those also different links? That's that's the huge 
that's the thing that's messed up. It's it's different now. A uh, link. Because I'm trying to see if any. I'm trying to see if any of like if, if a link is in multiple games. Because right now I think it's Zelda one and two, uh, Ocarina and Majora, and then I think I assume Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. I believe it Link's, Link's Awakening, Awakening so far is your Link's, Link's Awakening. Well, that that's the thing is like well, Link's so Awakening. Is, yes, Oracle games maybe. It also, is, isn't, it, it isn't it also Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass? I know Spirit yes. Tracks is in the distant future, but isn't Spirit Tracks this? Spirit Tracks is this Link, isn't it? Yeah, he's distant. No. no yeah, Spirit Tracks is after. No, 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 no I'm sorry. This I'm sorry. Phantom, I'm, Hourglass Phantom Yeah, Phantom Hourglass is, is the same as Wind Waker Link, correct? Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and if we want to get it really weird and twisted, um, Twilight Princess Link is the same as Crossbow Training Link. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, no, no, I'm not getting that way. But which one? But which one? Which one is in Smash Brothers Melee? Which one's in what? Which Link is in Smash Brothers Melee? This one. He's right here it's, in front of you. It's a uh, well, Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, checks out. And checks then, out. and then we're also forgetting that Breath of the Wild takes place at the very end of all three timelines. Well, because they converge, my dude. It's it's a eventually just the threads come together on a convergence point, and they all sort right. of converge into an alpha line. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it, but check out that fucking Zelda timeline video from uh, the guy. The guy who makes videos for Kut uh, um, Kotaku, nice. who is the only good thing about that website. But his how he Polygon. gets them all to con Polygon. That's the one. I'm sorry, Polygon. Even though Kotaku is also terrible. Um, <laughs> like that guy, his the way he gets them all to converge nice. is fucking brilliant. That guy's amazing. I don't know why I didn't discover his him. video. His video about about why the Sonic series is blasphemous. Maybe my, oh. one of my favorite videos ever put online. But it's but Sonic video. says save it before save it until marriage. I saw the billboard. <laughs> <Sonic> <laughs> <jokes>. <laughs> that is, might not be the only, the only good joke in that in, in one one of the most university hated episodes of The Simpsons. Which episode was that again? That, he, that, uh, that, that was episode? the. That was the the ninety show episode where oh, like Hol right. where Homer creates like a Nirvana like punk band. Sonic says save it for marriage, but you got Amy like wanting to marry him. Like Sonic, you got a front row seat to the to the to the to the show. <laughs> Joking. She's, she's twelve. twelve. She's twelve. <laughs> she's twelve. I just Sick remembered fuck. she's twelve. Well, you know what. You know what? Uh, uh, no. Muhammad married a nine-year-old. Nope. So, <laughs> what? So uh, Sonic not wanting to marry a twelve-year-old. I'll, I'll tell you who I know who my prophet is. So, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, the Triforce Heroes Link is the same Link from Between Worlds. So. Yes, that's. What that. about what he about? He gets super into fashion. It's so weird. What about four four swords? Uh, is is, is that, that the same? Princess. No, 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 but I mean, like, so the that's so four swords. The, the, four swords. the original four so, swords is before or Ocarina of Time. Adventures is after Twilight Princess. Yes, that doesn't make any fucking sense. They're two okay. different games. But they have the same fucking exact same link. No, they're different okay, links. Look. The four swords takes look exactly the, the four swords same. takes place against Vati, and then later on you have to you have the second round of maidens, but they're in a completely different timeline than links to the past. But at that, that's they when you're in exactly the, 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 the time of twilight and shit's like well, okay, guys. This I the time of twilight was was a dark time for vampire movies. I agree. <laughs> Like, you just couldn't get through. Well, there was that one, like, weird vampire movie at the time, but it, it was the one where, like, everyone are vampires, and they had, like, human farms, but then they start to run out of humans for their human farm. It, it's like a huge oh, oil was that, was allegory. That, was that Daybreakers? That's the one. And then, and then what ends up happening is that you gotta have poison sunlit blood that will turn some that, vampires into humans, and they just start curing themselves, and it just solves itself. Fucking... It was I a saw that movie, movie once at the cinema, and I remember really liking it, and now we're fighting Andros. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it's a Nintendo game. So, it's not complete with an so Andros it's fight. Guy, yeah, it, it's Mario 64 guy. It's Mario 64 so, guy. Uh, well, they bring this whole boss fight back in Minish Caps, like, wholesale. Miwa, do you have any opinion, or do you give a fuck about the uh, sort of timeline, or do you just wish that everyone would shut up? <laughs> I only played a few of them. I I so I don't know what you're talking about. Would you would your preferred timeline just be Link stays at home and eats soup? 
No, I prefer if he uh, if he had an Etsy store. <laughs> <laughs> What would he make? Soup. Pins and earrings. <laughs> well, Link, Link, didn't, didn't, uh, I mean, in, in the official 2D artwork, does an Ocarina of Time, I don't think, have an earring? Mickey or did I imagine that in, in, in one of my sexual fantasies? I mean, Sounds I about right. know there's a Link with earrings. Yeah. I think a Dot Link might. Well, like, I, again, I don't think in game, but I think in like the 2D promotion artwork, I think he's drawn with, with an earring in those games. I keep saying and, I'm pretty sure it's both ears. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought it was just one because he was, he was too cool for school. That was a 90s. Yeah, it's that fucking was. 90s. I only wear one earring. That way you know I'm not gay, bro. I'm not gay, bro. I wear one <laughs> earring. That means I'm not gay. Like. Well, no, no, it depends on what ear you put it on, apparently. Oh, back yeah, in the day. see? There's actually an episode of Beavis and Butthead where they get an earring, but then uh, Daria tells them they put it on the uh, so-called gay ear, and then, and then they freak out. Because so Beavis and Butthead is very problematic for its time. Oh no, you, you can't say that. You can't say something's problematic, because then people will get upset about you. Stefan, you're problematic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boycotting Stefan starting right now. That see <laughs> Stefan, Stefan, that's why you're problematic. You make stupid noises like that. Cut that shit out. Ouch. There's no crying in Maxi. baseball. <laughs> Do you think it's a coincidence that Link oh, God, rhymes with Twink? No, oh, no. I mean, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's just a one of those cosmic coincidences. Cosmic. <laughs> I mean, Link, like they, they, Xandru, like, Xandru is based on Link, so I mean, it's sort of a universal joke at this point. Mexi, do you also think it's a coincidence that Ganondorf rhymes with Xamimorph? No, I think that's just a, a made-up word. How dare you! That's my grandfather's name. All words are made up. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Link's stupid little jig of that fucking light show is <laughs> adorable. He's happy. All right, let the boy be happy. No, <laughs> you killed me. Have a have Link. a heart. He didn't kill him. He's a test. By heart. Every, every time you don't pick this heart up, like a, a, a piece of my heart dies. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are Link's whole cruxes. He's deep in his heart, <laughs> <laughs> so he can never truly die. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>